Okay, well, hello there. Um, it's been a few, uh, a couple of months since I last done a, a video. Um, <clears throat> now, what I'm here today to do is um, just share with you uh, a little uh, technique rather than any modelling per se. Now, one of the favourite tools of the uh, modeller, um, certainly in the UK, I presume elsewhere as well, is this the uh, the humble wooden clothes peg, used for um, gripping things uh, while um, glue dries, used for holding things to paint them. Now one of the drawbacks of the uh, clothes peg as you can see is they've got this v-shape at the tip which means that sometimes it makes the tip a little bit clumsy uh, for holding things uh, and um, getting access. So one of the things I do with a lot of my clothes pegs okay, is I will um, turn them around so that you get a, uh, a needle nose uh, kind of affair. Okay. Now to do that, okay, I'll, I'll bring you in, hopefully, so you can see this, okay. So there's your clothes peg, so you're literally just disassembling the clothes peg. Okay, these ones are a little bit old and, and rusty, but still. Okay, and so then what you're doing is you're reattaching uh, or putting the clothes peg back together Back to front okay so the spring goes in like that if you can uh, if you can see that okay I'll bring you okay so the spring goes in like that okay and then the second part of the clothes peg also goes in upside down okay having trouble with these ones because these ones are quite rusty for some reason um, Okay, so there's that one in. I'm not gonna say. And there you go. There's the clothes peg reversed. Okay, so what you've got then, look, is um, a needle. Uh, A needle nosed affair which means you can actually clamp stuff and butt right up against it okay and uh, still maintain um, control over the item okay one of the other things you um, you can do okay because quite often the wood is um, not very grippy okay this is an old piece of um, rubber glove uh, marigold type glove okay so what you can do okay is slice some of your uh, glove Got a couple of pieces like so, okay. And then all you need to do is um, get a bit of super glue, spread it on your peg like so, and then glue the rubber down. Like so. Okay. Repeat for the other side. Okay. Like so. So you've now lined the jaws okay with a little bit of rubber okay which just adds extra grip when you reassemble your peg so you end up with all these uh, pegs which are now 
uh, more of a needle nosed affair like that but with uh, some some rubber grip actually in the uh, in the jaws themselves okay so that is how I turn you know a minimally useful clothes peg into something far more useful to me as um, as a modeler let that glue dry reassemble it and um, and there you go as I say as you can see I've got um, I've got a lot of these in my collection that I'm uh, always using the whole stuff for clearly painting and, and the like so um, I hope that's of, uh, of, of some help and a little bit of a tip on um, some of the modeling uh, one of my little modeling techniques that I've developed over the years um, so uh, go away give it a go yourself uh, try it yourself see what you think <laughs>